wanted to um, upload a short little tutorial video on how to do in-text citations MLA style because I'm getting a lot of emails about it. So um, I'm going to use my sample Noodle Tools page as well as the document that I put together for you guys with the brief outline. So um, I'll start with how to put in a direct quotation. So whenever you put in a quote, you want to make sure that you sandwich it essentially. So you want to introduce the quote. So if I'm in Noodle Tools and I want to use, uh, let's say this from this note card, um, I'm going to copy that and then I'm going to say according to Dr. Egbert, um, essential or uh, ideally, I would know why he was an expert on the subject. Um, if I went back to that source, I probably could figure that out. Uh, right now, we're just going to assume that we know who he is and why he's important. Um, so, according to Dr. Egbert, comma, and then I would put in the quote, and then um, at the end of the sentence. So not necessarily at the end of the quote, though it will be this time, but at the end of the sentence of the information you're citing, you're going to, in parentheses, put whatever shows up first on the source that you are using. So if you're on the note card and you just hover over source, it's going to bring up the citation. And in this case, we have a author as the first piece of information. So I'm just going to put in the last name, assuming there's no other sources uh, that have the last name Klein. If they do, then you have to put in as much as needed to differentiate. So ideally first name. Um, so for this one, we're just going to put in Klein. Um, and then after that, you put the period. Okay. So you'll notice at the end we have a comma, not a period, and then the period goes outside. And then the other side of the sandwich is explaining why the quote is important. So I took the first part of this as a direct quote, and then I can paraphrase here. Um, so there are probably no other places on Earth with such high bacterial densities. Uh, if I wanted to paraphrase that, I could say something like... Um, this bacterial density is unlike anywhere else found on Earth. Um, so this is just explaining why this quote is important and how it ties into everything. Okay. So let's say that we want to do a paraphrase. So we're not pulling a direct quote. Um, let's go to... Um, okay, so let's say we want to use this information, um, but we're going to use a paraphrase of it because we're not going to use that long of a direct quotation. So let's say we're going to use this here. Um, we might start in a similar fashion. So uh, this is made evident in a PBS article which states I'm going to put in uh, oh, I'm going to put in my paraphrase that I put in here. which states that studies show um, that those who do not, or that do sterilized sponges can only get them 60% clean. So again, before the end of the sentence, I'm going to put comma. And then um, here, again, we have an author name. If 
there wasn't an author name and it just started here, you would put in quotes, microwaving, and then as much as you need to differentiate it from any of the other sources. Um, but again, we just have the author, so we're going to put in here Deshant, and then again the period to end. Um, <clears throat> I would say ideally you're going to want at least one piece, if not two, of sourced information in each of your body paragraphs. And uh, you're going to need them in Noodle Tools, and you're going to need them connected to the citation. This is why we did all of the work on the front end. Hopefully this helps if you have more specific questions for specific citations, please let me know. Um, otherwise, as cheesy as it sounds, I do miss you guys, and uh, I wish that I could be helping you with this in person, but good luck.